everybody, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to talk about transforming stuff in Photoshop. You can see Edit, Free Transform, and Transform. They are two, two of the most versatile and useful uh, tools. Well, it's really the whole package. Transforming in general, it's a must-know. It's it, If you're doing anything in Photoshop, it's a must-know. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. This month's sponsor is GraphicStock.com. we got to get through this real quick, our plug of the day. April of 2016 is GraphicStock's Creative Rewards Month. Um, they've got a huge huge library of graphic uh, graphics, vectors, illustrations, photos, you name it, over at graphicstock.com. Typically, it's $49 a month to sign up and get access to this stuff, um, but a special for tutvid.com viewers, $39 for an entire six-month period of subscription. You can download as much as you like. There's absolutely no limitations. It's all royalty-free, so you can use it for client work, your own work, whatever your heart's desire is. And what if somebody tells you you're not eating enough greens? Go find a photo, post it on their Facebook wall every single day just to remind them that they're being a troll. Go check out in the description of this video. There's a link uh, that you can follow uh, to go sign up if you would like to go do that. So um, before we jump into actually the free transform itself, notice that when you have the move tool selected, you have the option to select show transform controls. What this means is anytime you select a layer or there's an object on a layer, it's going to give you, I don't know if you can see it here in this video, but there's the faint outline of the free transform controls around um, my my image here. And I can hit command or control Z once. This goes for any time you're in the free transform uh, mode, I guess we could call it. If you make a change and you don't like it, hit Command or Control Z, and you can you can step back one time and undo one thing that you did. I'm gonna hit the little you know clear icon there to get out of that. I'm gonna get rid of my show transform controls. Let's take a practical look at this. We're gonna move the pit of this avocado over here to this avocado, and we're gonna leave the pit in this avocado too. So we're gonna we're just gonna duplicate it. Grab the lasso tool. And I'm going to drag a nice little selection around this avocado pit. All right, just like that. Great. And then I'm going to go select, modify, feather. And we'll feather it by, I don't know, five pixels just to give it a little bit of blur there on the edge. Now, if I just use my move tool, or I'm sorry, my selection tool and move this over, nothing happens because all I'm doing is moving the actual selection. What does that mean we need to do? Well, it means we need to grab the move tool to move it over. But, oh, shoot, if we do that, then we're missing the pit. Command or Control Z to undo that. Here's what we want to do. We want to duplicate this and pop it up onto its own layer by using the hotkey Command or Control J. Boom, avocado pit on its own layer. We can just drag the sucker right over. Now we need to begin the transform process. So we go Edit, Free Transform. Now Free Transform is something you can do to any layer um, that is sort of a free layer. So if we take this background layer and we go like Layer, New, background from layer so you have your original background layer and I go edit you can see we can't free transform this because the layer is locked if we go up to layer one here which is our avocado pit well check it out boom we can free transform or straight transform now free transform the most important thing I think about free transform is knowing the hot key so it's super easy to use command or control T boom free transform we can still move free transform but Here's what's cool about this. If we move around the edges of our free transform box, we can rotate the object that we've just duplicated any which way we like. So we can rotate this around so the avocado pit matches. Um, obviously, the lighting is all messed up. Don't worry about that right now. We can select any of the outer points, hold down your shift key, and you can scale the avocado pit up or down. And holding the shift key constrains the proportions. So that's a really important, useful hotkey. If you hold down the alt or option key, it scales from the middle, or really scales from wherever you place this reference point. So if that reference point is not in the middle, let's say you move the reference point up to here. If I hold down my alt or option key and scale, you can see it scales based on the reference point being up there, and it looks really crazy. Uh, you can also combine shift and alt or shift and option if you're on the Mac and scale proportionately and based on wherever that center point is uh, very, very effectively. All vital hotkeys. You can also hold down the command or control key and select any of these anchor points along the sides. If you select any of the points in the middle of the straight runs, it's going to give you a skew, which is where your whole image just kind of moves and skews itself. Um, as one whole piece. Something else you can do is if you hold down the command or control key and use the corner points, it uh, allows you to do what's called distorting the image. Uh, it's the same as if you right click in the middle of your free transform and choose distort, right? It does the same exact thing. So you're just doing this, but here I don't have to hold down the command or control key, right? You can right click and go back to scaling or whatever you like. Well, I just committed the changes. That's fine. I'm going to hit Command or Control T to bring it up again. I'm going to move my avocado pit over a little bit. One of the other really cool things you can do is you can right click and you can quickly flip horizontally or vertically. So we're going to go horizontal. 
flip this guy around, maybe we'll rotate it up like this, and now the avocado pit kind of, kind of matches the light the way that it should be. So we're going to drop it right in place, hit the little check icon there, and great, we've got our avocado pit moved over. Okay, so that's pretty cool. It looks fairly realistic, I think. Uh, we can also go ahead, I'm just going to use a quick selection tool, and quickly, whoop, let's select our background layer here, and we're going to quickly grab a selection of this apple. Uh, it's going to be a very, very rough selection because I'm doing it uh, very, very quickly. Maybe I'll just zip away the wood there. And something like that's good enough. Uh, we're going to pop this guy up onto its own layer. Commander Control J. We've got a duplicate of the Apple. Commander Control T once again. Let's explore some of this other stuff. Perspective. Perspective allows you to just grab one side of your free transform and, you know, send it off into the sunset or increase the perspective so the sun or horizon would technically be way over there, right? That's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to undo that. And by the way, you can always hit this little clear button and it will undo any of the transforms you've done without committing that change. Uh, Commander Control T once more to bring up uh, free transform. You can manually punch in width and height based on percentage. You can change the angle or the horizontal or, or the horizontal or vertical skews of your image. We can also warp the image. That's what this icon is here or you can right click and choose warp. Now warp is really cool because um, well you can just grab any point in uh, inside of the grid or any of the the points or even tangent handles here on the outer part of this grid and really warp your image. So instead of an apple, it's more like one of those dried apple crisps uh, that you can buy from any of the trendy grocery stores. So we can go ahead and commit that change. And you can see here we've got this apple crisp instead of, you know, a regular old apple. Command, uh, Command Z, Command Alt Z, or Command Option Z, excuse me, or that'd be Control Alt Z on the PC to step back to where we were before. So free transform, you can do a ton with it. Let's take another look at a practical example here in terms of this urban shot that I took. Um, we can almost do some perspective correction with a free transform. So this is an unlocked layer, so we can just go ahead and hit Command or Control T to bring up free transform. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to right click because I can see what I need to do is n reduce the width of the base of the image and increase the width of the top of the image if I want to sort of get rid of this slant. You see how it looks like the building is leaning backward? So I'm going to right click and choose perspective and I'm going to pinch the bottom of my image a little bit and I'm going to make the top of my image a bit wider. See how we're starting to get rid of that and make it look like we're shooting this photo kind of more direct on. I'm going to right click and choose, I'm going to right click actually and go free transform and I can rotate side to side. Now something I want to quickly show you about rotating side to side, if you hold down the shift key when you rotate, you constrain yourself to these 15 degree angle uh, intervals, I guess you could say. Um, sometimes it's 22.5 degrees. I think it just depends on the version of Photoshop you're using. Um, but if you hold down shift, just know that you can get a, you know, a perfect 45 degree angle, for instance, or even a perfect 90 degree angle, uh, if that's something you're looking to do. Um, this does look like it needs to be rotated just a little bit. And then we want to just zoom this in a little bit more so we can get rid of this little bit of space. So I'm going to hold down my shift and alt keys. My reference point is still in the very center. I'm just going to zoom the image. A little bit, just like that, great. Now I'm going to right click and choose distort. Because I can tell, for instance, there's less distance between the edge of my photo and this part of this building and up here. So this definitely needs to be pulled this way a bit to kind of really straighten that. And when I do that, now obviously you can see this building is all messed up over here. So I can pull this building to being nice and straight. So Distort allows us to go in and kind of freeform make our adjustments. Um, Distort is great if you need to add like an image to a laptop screen and those stock photos that we all see. Um, use Distort. Just drop the image in, free transform, right click Distort, and make the corners of your images match the corners of the laptop. We have all of our rotation options. We already went over some of them. Uh, we'll go ahead and commit this change by hitting the check icon. And all you really have to do at this point, well, we could do a number of things. We could just widen the image. And if I hold down my alter option key and just pull to the sides, we can widen the whole image um, and just fill the frame that way. Obviously, it kind of distorts it. So probably not the best of ways, uh, the best way to do that. Uh, or we can hold down shift and alt again and just continue zooming in. Or, of course, we could use the crop tool and crop away the bits of the image uh, that are missing. So there we have a very practical way to use the free transform tools. And, of course, uh, you know all the different ways we were just using it here with this photo. So under Edit, Free Transform, and, of course, Transform, you have a very, very powerful tool set at your disposal. And there's so much you can do with this. If I were to give you examples of every single thing you could do with this, we would be here for months and months and months. So... For free transform in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.